My name is Eric Dolph. I'm an assistant professor of interior design at Buffalo State. The principles of universal design uh, were, um, were released and were published in 1997 uh, by a group of researchers from all over the country, from North Carolina State, from the University of Buffalo. Um, and uh, they, they include basically a benchmark for designers as to what they should be keeping in mind as they're designing these products and environments for what sorts of things they could do with their products and with their spaces, with their environments, in order to make these spaces uh, useful for the most number of people. So one great example that I always like to use of a universally designed product or environment is a lever handle on a door. It's a simple one that people can sort of intuitively understand because we've all had this experience. Um, it was designed for people that had a limited ability to grasp a doorknob. And so we no longer put doorknobs on doors. They're now all designed by, by code requirement to, be, uh, to, to have a lever handle. Um, but what we found was that it was also of benefit to people that had other things going on. So if at the same time you're carrying a cup of coffee or you're carrying a box, or you need to use your foot to open the door. You couldn't have done that with a, with a doorknob, right? So, so you have this, uh, this product that is designed in such a way that it is of maximum benefit to all types of users, not just for, the, you know, for, the, for those that, that, that may have a limited ability to, to actually grasp that device. So it's one simple example that I like to use.